Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. It is the milkman. And guys, this is a story that I wasn't really going to touch upon because I didn't know how concerned the students would feel about this. But I did see this is something that is affecting other universities as well. So I just decided that maybe I should do a quick video on it. And as we all know, privacy is a huge concern for the world today. But how would you feel if your uni had front row seats to the antics that you do in the privacy of your own home? So as it turns out, students at Mac are very concerned that Big Brother is watching them without their consent. A social science student wrote an open letter to Mac demanding that they be more transparent with the data a third-party contractor has been collecting from students on the institution's behalf. So what is this in regards, you ask? Well, McMaster has contracted a software company called Respondus to sniff out academically dishonest students which has not been received too well by the community. Now, there are two types of programs that are distributed to the student's computer by Respondus. The first is aptly called the Lockdown Browser, which literally leaves a user handicapped during use. For example, let's say you're doing an exam through this browser, you would literally be unable to open tabs, copy and paste, use shortcuts, print screen, amongst other uh, menial tasks and if your prof really wants to get anal there is an add-on let's call it a DLC to this program that can hijack your webcam and scan your room for suspicious activity like sudden movement or noise etc so could you imagine if this software was still running accidentally the type of things it could pick up and record let's say you decided to do the silhouette challenge in your boxers or your licenza hall the actual footage would be saved on the company server out of your reach and if you're thinking to yourself it's a good thing i'm not a mac student like i said earlier <laughs> think again because as it turns out not only have ryerson and university of ottawa students have been using respondents but they have launched change.org petitions due to quote unquote privacy concerns and the harboring of biometric data. So this is data such as behavior and physical characteristics that can be used to identify you from someone else. Hell, even Western University has been using a similar AI called ProctorTrack, which conveniently experienced a security breach on a company server. So think about all the biometric data that was exposed and possibly stolen. So when asked, McMaster stated, the school retains student data collected via respondents for one year before it is deleted. Meaning a guy like uh, the hacker on TV, Mr. Robot, if he hacked into the service, he would have a whole year to get to know you and your personality without you even knowing. I mean, you could literally go out on a date with a person you would think is a stranger and they would know your favorite drinks, foods, music. Shoot, you would think that the stars have a line and it was your actual soulmate when in actuality your data could have been breached and it's just a computer geek with no game who has just hit the jackpot. Anyways, from what I understand, Respondus has a one-year contract with the McMaster to conduct its anti-cheating services. And honestly, I would love to know what you guys think of this arrangement. Have any of you experienced Respondus firsthand? Do you even care about privacy at all? Is it all about the degree to you and the sacrifices it takes to get there? Like, I know a lot of you guys have tiger parents, which would probably say the opposite. But anyways, let me know in the comments below. Anytime I got the skinny on some uni news, I'm going to drop it on the tube. Some milk, man. I'm off this easy, fam.